Right, take three. Hi, I'm Teresa. Hi, I'm Charlene. We're both dog groomers, so um, we thought we'd give you a little bit of information about ourselves and how we got into dog grooming. So, ooh, it's quite a lot of years ago now. Yeah. And um, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? I'm not hot. <laughs> <laughs> doing a nice video. <laughs> Take four. Action. I swear to God, if you do that once more, I'm going to slap you. You're not taking my nails off. Right, right, I need to do it again now. Take five. Action. I swear to God. Right. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm Charlene. We're both dog groomers. We're mother and daughter. Daughter and mother. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. This is supposed to be. Sorry. Okay, so we're. Um... <laughs> I can't stop it! <laughs> okay, so this is Ebony. Ebony is a Cabernet Control Spaniel. She is about 10 years of age. Big girl, Ebony. Now, the King Charles Spaniel, they have smooth silk coats. Um, they have, they're very sociable dogs, very gentle, affectionate, very good with children. Um, average lifespan is around 12 to 15 years of age. Average height is 12 to 13 inches tall. Um, we recommend regular grooming at home and in the salon so we recommend approximately around every eight weeks that they get professionally groomed but also regular brushing at home that also helps with um, keeping their coats nice and smooth and silky and gives them a little bit of a massage brushing them and it also helps the owner keep on top of any changes, like any lumps, bumps, any changes in the dog's body, health, you know, checking the ears and things. So we always, always recommend brushing at home as well. Now Ebony's a very good girl. She's in for a full groom today. So she will have the full works, bathing, drying, um, brushing, clipping, and then just tidying up the scissors. And Ebony's owner is like a very, very short, so we're just going to be clipping her all off, all over. So I'm going to get her in the bath now, then. Come on, then, Ebony. You good girl. Ebony enjoys having a bath. She's very calm and relaxed. I'm using a shampoo designed for black coats as this will nourish, cleanse and give a shiny soft look to Ebony's fur when dried. Ebony has now been towel dried to remove the excess water and been sprayed with the drying spray which speeds up the drying process. Ebony is absolutely fine with being dried. I actually think she enjoys the warmth of the dryer on her skin. She's such a good girl.
am clipping ebony in a short style as requested by her owner. This breed of dog is not usually clipped with the clippers, but ebony's owner likes likes her to be clipped short, so it's more manageable for her. The Cavalier King Charles, a British breed, hence the name, is the toy dog of the Spaniel breeds. They are known as one of the dogdom's noblemen due to the regal grace and even temper. The face is a hallmark of a sweet, melting expression with those large, round, beautiful eyes. Whoa, I just slipped on the fur on the floor. Charlene, health and safety, health and safety. I'm always saying brush up the fur, Charlene. The coat is so silky and soft and comes in four different colours. Black and tan, black and white, blenium and ruby. Cavaliers are adaptable to the owner's lifestyle. So if it's an active lifestyle you have, or just like being at home watching telly while she's sitting on the couch, the cavalier will slot in so easily. Okay, so ebony's been clipped now. So we're just scissoring her now. How do you know what this is? And then once we've done that, she's all done. So we're just making her feet look all cute and round. So mum will scissor her feet and legs, scissor her ears and then tail. Brush it up so I can get all the all the fur that's in between the pads and the nails. So it's not uncomfortable. And I notice when you put the brush down, mm -hmm. you put it that way down. Well, yeah, because I don't want to stand it on it. Very careful how you brush as well. It's just to get any rid of them. Um, Bloody right-handed people. Yeah. Okay. So mum will do that on all the legs. Yeah, we'll do the ears. I'll show you the ears. We'll just get rid of this bit here. That's all. Drive me mad. I'm a bit OCD. Let's drive Charlene mad. So the ears have been clipped. 
I'm just making sure all the fur is brushed so I can get it all. So on the inside, we always start from here up because of the way the fur grows. So I'm getting right to the end. So me doing this is protecting her ear from the scissors. So if I'm going to cut anything, it's going to be my thumb. Which you have done a few times. Yeah. Rather me than the dog. Because mm -hmm. we have plasters. <laughs> I should try to stick a plaster on the dog. <laughs> so you can feel, so the end of her ear. Yeah, is here. Which is here. Okay. okay, where my thumb is. So everything here, I can take off. A lot of dogs like this, actually. I think they like the way I massage their ear as I'm doing this. So a lot of them <laughs> like it. So look, you can see all those bits have gone. So that creates that. And then we have to go this way up. Or else if we go the opposite ways, the fur is going to be cut the, the wrong angle. That was a lesson I learned when I first started dog grooming. After my training and I did it the wrong way. I was like, oh my gosh, now I know why I was trained to do it that way. <laughs> because it looked horrendous. Sometimes you think they don't, you know, oh, it'll just be easy to do it like this. Oh, yeah. So then you but do it and then you're like, uh oh, no. okay. But obviously like anything, when you're trained in anything, it just becomes natural then. So there we go, look. Nice finish. It it's black. Oh, I can see a little bit there. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Compared so to the ear that hasn't been done yet, you can see. Okay. How but cute this looks. We will go more into the grooming and the skills side of it on other videos. People would be interested in that side. I think probably new beginning, new starters of dog room as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I did that then. I see the girl. Because I'm rushing. Because we have a lot of dogs in today. I'm not rushing, but I'm trying not to fight. Okay, so Ebony's all done. No, she's not. I haven't done this here. <laughs> I haven't done this here. Oh my oh gosh. My what God. am I doing, Ebony? Oh my lord. Ebony. What? That's right. What's going on here? Okay, let's stop now. We'll do another end video in a minute. <laughs> I'm such an eager beaver. <laughs> Eager beaver, Ebony. Eager beaver. What the? Ridiculous. Sometimes, I don't know, I get through the day. Because you have me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are a good girl. You thought you was already then. You thought you were getting off the table, didn't you, my bad? Okay. Put you into false security thing there, didn't I? Hey? Eh? Oh, you're so good. Such yeah, she doesn't look happy. Because <laughs> <laughs> she thought she was done. She's thinking, what's going on here? I thought, that this here done. <laughs> Didn't ya? Hey? Eh? Make sure that's straight there. That's straight. Yeah, just curve it off nice. Have a nice curve. <laughs> it looks like you've got a dog here and not a duck here. What does a duck ear look yeah, like? Do ducks have ears? <laughs> Did ducks duck have ear. ears? <laughs> <laughs> duck ear. It's the same. It's the same. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is now. Right, okay, so. Right, let's try again. Okay, my lovely chubbly. Right, okay. There. Lovely. Look that way then, my bab. Ooh, let's hire you up a little bit. So you're all done now, Ebony. Let's start again. So, okay. Stand up, babe. Let me put you here, look. 
I don't think you want to stand up, do you? If I don't know. There we go. So, Ebony's all done. Both ears are finished. Yeah. So she's all done, as you can see. She's short. She still has a. Um, I'll brush that again. Get that for her. Um, she still has her tail though. So she's all done. Clip short, scissored, bath dried, and plenty of kiss, kisses and hugs. <laughs> sounded like you was gonna. <laughs> you and Ebony is looking at you like, what is going on here? Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good girl. Yeah. Like we said, yeah. she looks a bit like a Rottweiler now, doesn't yeah, she? she? Does. Yeah, she does look <laughs> a miniature Rottweiler, as your mummy says. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, lovely. There we go then. All done. So, end of the day today. Yeah. So, well, a long day. Yeah. Had all big dogs in today. Um, so, well, let's do a rundown. What's happened today? Oh. Been bitten? No. No. Um, <clears throat> weed on? No. no. Oh, no. Poo all over the salon now today. That was the most. <laughs> Audrey, yeah, I turned around and went, oh, something smells really bad in here. I was like, oh my God, it stinks. And there it was, right down there. Big piece of poo from a big dog. It was more than one piece as well. <laughs> um, anyway, move on, that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah, because my belly's going, Ooh. so, oh yeah, um, what happened? Oh yeah, we had a dog that ripped my trousers. So they're all ripped. I don't know if you can be able to see. Let me hold you. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't know if you can see that. She wasn't attacked. It just jumped. Get <laughs> <laughs> me! Mountain hiking up the blinking wall. <laughs> I was trying to get out the shed, out the salon. So yeah, it's been a very eventful day, hasn't it? Um, Tiring, but silly us. Exhausted. We're the only ones really that do big dogs in this area. So strenuous. Right, so we're going to go home now and collapse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Okay then. See you soon. Bye. Bye.